Dominus Fobiscum Amigos, and welcome back to another episode of the Heavenly Toast. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to come back and give you a quick reflection on Advent. Kind of something that I've been thinking about as we've entered into this Advent season. We're now more than halfway through. It's kind of crazy. But what I wanted to reflect on was something that I've kind of been struggling with a little bit. And that is... The Advent is given to us every year as this time of preparation. You know, we're always taught to prepare the way of the Lord, to kind of make room for him in our hearts and everything. And I've always, I don't know, struggled with that a little bit because I've always gotten, kind of gotten to Christmas and felt like I hadn't quite prepared the way well enough and I'd let other stuff kind of get in the way, the hustle and bustle of the holiday season shopping, traveling here, there, and everywhere, seeing family, stuff like that. And I was thinking, why is it that I don't really come to that level of preparedness that I want to? Why is that? And I kind of got to thinking about it and kind of kicking it around and everything. And I started to think, you know, I have all of these things. I, I'm from the United States, probably the most materially prosperous nation in the entire world. I have all of these great friends and family members that I'm going to be going to see. I have gifts to give to people and to receive from people that I love. So what is this? I am so unbelievably wealthy in that regard. You know, I make a good living. I'm not saying that I'm super duper unbelievably fly my private jet everywhere, but I definitely am rich in that sense. So why is it that when I f come to Christmas, I always somehow feel like I'm lacking in some way? Like I haven't quite prepared the way well enough. And I think part of the reason occurred to me when I was listening to an episode of Pints with Aquinas recently, and I, I apologize, I can't remember the episode for the life of me, but what came up in there was just a quick snippet. It wasn't even the main focus of the episode, but it was something that the guests said about what it was to be poor in spirit. And it really stuck with me, and it's really kind of driven my Advent meditations for this year. And what he said was that to be poor in spirit was to recognize that without God, we have nothing that our soul truly longs for. That to be poor in spirit was to recognize that without God, we have nothing that our soul truly longs for. That's heavy. And as I started to think about it, I started to recognize what a great Advent reflection this was. Because I think that in today's day and age, even among Christians, it's very easy to kind of think, oh, well, you know, I've got, you know, I'm stressed but blessed or whatever, you know, I, that I do things off of my own um, effort. That yes, God's grace is there, but I still do have X, Y, and Z project. Or I still do a, B, and C, or I'm still connected with this thing or that thing or the other. And I think, especially in the Christmas season, especially Advent leading up to the Christmas season, it's good to sit back and reflect a little bit on the fact that without God, we don't have what our heart truly longs for. We are lacking in that sense. You know, when Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing, I think that we have a tendency to kind of look at a quote like that and say, okay, Jesus, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, I've got all these things. I've got this vehicle that I drive. I've got this snazzy new purse or whatever it is that you've got. And it's like, I recognize that I need God in some vague sense, but otherwise I'm doing okay. You know, something like that. And I think that when we sit down and reflect on the fact that to be poor in spirit is to recognize that we don't have what our soul longs for. We long for 
infinite beauty, for final good, for absolute truth. That's where our heart would rest. That's where our soul would find rest. And we don't have it in the world. No matter how many great family members that we can go visit over the Christmas holidays, no matter how, much, how many gifts we receive, no matter how many gifts we give even, no matter how much of anything of this world, we lack utterly. We are poor in the things that our soul truly longs for. That might sound like a downer, but it's a great reminder to us in this Advent time of preparation that we're given to recognize the immensity of the gift of Christ's coming at Christmas. This is a God who draws near to us, who enters into our human weaknesses, into our human lacks and our human wants. And the great promise of Christmas is that God is with us. He is Emmanuel. He is with us, even amongst that lack, to remove that lack from us. Not a material gain of some sort where we have everything that we want because we can name it and claim it or whatever, but rather that God is with us in such a way that he truly gives us everything that our heart truly longs for. So while it might be nice to have this thing or that thing, and they are legitimate goods, certainly, it's great to go out and be with friends and family and to have Christmas cookies and exchange gifts and everything like that. Advent is this time where we're given a period to ponder the fact that we do lack what our soul truly longs for without God, and to recognize the immensity of the gift of his coming to be able to have him with us and to be able to be granted what our soul truly longs for. With that, stay in the state of grace. And God bless, friends. It's good to be back.